What's up out there? Welcome back to some more Melver Idol Hardcore, and we are on Gen 2, and this is episode 94. Now, the reason this is Generation 2 is because I killed the first one off in the Infernal Stronghold, I think. So this account here got started right after that character died, or this character, I should say, started right after that one died. And this one was started on July 2nd of 2021. So we have just shy of two years of character development here. This was before the 1.0 release of the game. This is before the expansion, before Township existed. Like this character was out before, I don't know, maybe even before Astrology, Agility. I can't remember when all these skills came in, but I know there's been some things that have been added, particularly Agility, Summoning, Astrology, and Township most likely. I think this was started before all of those, before the Thieving rework. So this character has been around for quite a while. And I've taken this character kind of slow. I could have probably beat this a little bit sooner and been at completion a lot, well, maybe a little quicker. Uh, but I've been taking it really slow, been busy in life, you know, stuff like that. So I just don't have all the time in the world to focus on this. So it's about, you know, today's the 13th of May. So it's taken that long to get this far. So another month and a half. So could definitely do this a lot quicker. Um, I don't know. The final battle wasn't too bad. I didn't think it was terribly difficult at all. Uh, we'll run through that real quick. I am going to do a separate video of that combat. I'll probably just throw some music over it and not narrate or anything over it. Uh, somebody was asking a long time ago to see that that battle, and I, I never got around to it for my standard account, but I did record it for this. So I'll probably throw that on there, and you know we'll run through it again. Um, it, there will be a video for it. It will be a separate thing. So... Basically, you have to attack with magic first, and then you switch over to melee, and then you switch back to magic. Now, I didn't have everything in here, and I didn't use everything in here. Like, if you go to the wiki page and follow what it says, uh, they tell you to put the occultist and specter on because it does a little bit more damage. Um, and then run these prayers if you can. Uh, Holy Age or Battleborn and Holy Aegis. I think that's what I ran on both. Well, Battleborn and Valor on that one. So damage reduction tier fours on the whole thing. And let's see, basically this gear setup, except um, what do we change out here for the initial phase? Um, where's the gear at? It There's the gear phase one. So you're going to wear all of this. I had my uh, cape of completion, my original cape of completion, which is only 5% damage reduction. Uh, they suggest using the skull cape. I used my cape of completion because that's what I had. Uh, the wasteful ring, which I do not have. So I used the palladium runestone ring up here. And then the, what did I use down here? The, I think I used the ring of power down here. This is for phase two. Basically, once I got done with this whole thing, I quit and that was it. So I would have put the um, palladium runestone ring, which gives you damage reduction against melee and then the ring of power to boost the damage. This would have been the phase one setup, except for those two changes there. Everything else would have stayed the same. And I'm running the hinder scrolls for extra damage, uh, extra accuracy. On phase two, you're going to line up and use the melee setup. And this is the melee setup you use there. I guess I forgot. You're supposed to use um, this curse down here, this despair curse. So on the magic side, you can just equip that. On the melee side, uh, you're supposed to put on the voodoo trinket so that you can actually equip this uh, curse and use it. And that adds damage. Now, this is, again, Ring of Power. This is actually what I used on that, that fight, that part of the fight. I can't remember if it was phase one or two, but there was a point where I was holding down the mount, the, I was holding down the, the manual eat button. And I think it might've been on phase two. The phase just kept taking longer and longer. And I finally just let up on it and, and gambled with it. I had plenty of damage reduction. The creature wasn't, or the, the boss wasn't really hitting that hard. So I, even though with all the stacks and everything I had, I was still above it. And once I let off of that manual heal, uh, it went down faster. It was a little dicey because that thing hits in 0.55s of a second. And you know, I'm old. My reaction speed is not that quick. I don't think it was that quick ever to begin with. Um, but it was worse then. So yeah, a little dodgy on that. And you'll probably see that in the video where it, the fight seems to start taking a lot longer than I want it to. And then I finally just kind of let off of it and 
see what goes, and then it goes. I figured, you know what? What the hell? This is the final battle. If live or die, I was just going to ri- let it ride and see what happened. And and like I said, this fight was actually much, much easier than I thought it was going to be. Uh, don't know why, but it was fairly easy. So again, I'm going to edit up a video of that final dungeon, and we'll go in there, and I'll, I'll show you all that. And you'll see what the fight looked like from my perspective. Uh, but that is done. So fight done. I now have 100% of everything. I've got the big pet. This thing gives you just massive bonuses and everything. Unfortunately, I have no content left to do. I've already ground everything out ahead of time. So to quickly kind of recap where I was before I needed to pick up a few items. And one of the items was this book. Um, where did I put that thing? There should be a book of embers or something like that. I can't remember what it's called. Um, unless I got rid of it. I don't think I got rid of it. I thought I just shoved it in here, but there it is. Book of the ancients. Okay. So this book here, you have, I can't remember what all goes into it. Maybe it's book of embers, but what I forgot about was that this, this, well, this is one of the books that I needed. And I totally forgot about, um, uh, needing this thing. And I couldn't remember where it came from. I knew it didn't come from a combat area or a dungeon because I'd already cleared all that stuff out. Come to find out. And this is why I didn't have this is because I had already sold the book of occult and the book of Eli. So I had to go grind those two out so I could upgrade this to this book of ancients, which is cool. That's fine. Uh, unfortunately I kind of wish they would do something with this because like this has no damage reduction. So if you equip this, you're just, wasting the shield spot. I, I really wish they would make these spells like just super OP or something that you would make up for that. But anyway, um, I did have to go get that. I had to go and go into thieving here and go into like the vampires or whatever. And I needed to steal these blood vials. I needed that upgrade. I totally didn't have any, and you have to upgrade those with this consumable enhancer. So I now have this blood vial. You upgrade it and that goes to the blood vial too. That was one of the items I was missing. So I had to go clean that up and I had to go grind out the lair of the spider queen. Now that was an interesting fight. Um, I ended up going in with ranged and it was basically this setup here, except for I was wearing that, the palladium ring up here that gives you, uh, what was it? This was the melee one. So, the Lair of the Spider Queen randomly throws monsters at you, and the end boss is random between all three combat styles. In my regular standard account, I found the best way to go through there was with uh, ranged, and I had equipped it up. Come to find out, that was a lot harder fight with um, hardcore, and I guess there are some differences with the combat triangle on hardcore, like certain things are a little more difficult, and you take a little more penalties and everything. So... I had basically this set up here with the ring of power and I had the, um, I had this synergy here. Let me find it real quick here. I had the witch and yak. This gives 2% damage when fighting a melee enemy. So I had that on for my synergy. I had the ring of power and then I had the, the ring up here that gives you extra 4% damage reduction against the melee enemy. I've since stripped a couple of these items out because I moved on to the final boss. The ranged combat style is not used in the final boss of Throne of the Herald. So basically you do magic, melee, and then magic again. You can try ranged, but the problem is you just lose all your extra bonuses that magic gives you. Uh, magic can catch them on fire and stuff like that. And this doesn't seem to kick over as much. The fight takes a lot longer. You can, I, I, in my standard account, I barely did like a quarter or half of the damage before the thing started healing back up again. So I ran out, switched over to magic and you do magic melee magic and it works better. And that's where this is set up is for that final boss fight with the blood ring and the final, final, the third phase of it and the gauntlets of rage. Now I was missing kind of circling back here into this. I was actually missing the, um, what was I missing here? Shield of magic power. I got rid of that thing a long time ago. So this thing's useless. Well, you were supposed to put that in this thing. The gauntlets of rage is like the next recommended item. So that's what I have here. So 
basically I got the thieving done and I did the lair of the spider queen. I needed to get the pet. I needed to get the spear out of there, the toxin spear. And I had to, I, I took the time to go and create a whole bunch of these spider tabs. So I've got like almost 3 million of these things. So if, and when this account ever comes back, I got plenty of stuff in here. And for the moment, I am just going to quit. Uh, I'm just going to quit hardcore. I stopped my farming stuff. You'll see some extra things in here and I'm just not even going to log in. I think it's kind of nice to not have to log in. What I've been doing on my standard account is logging in and, and like setting it to go fishing or cooking or something, or just something that just can sit and do in the background. But it's kind of nice not having to log in and check these every day. So I'm going to be down to just my adventure account. Now, what does that mean for the future? Well, I'm glad you asked. One idea that I have, and you'll notice that I have all these semi mods in here. I plan on, because my standard account and my hardcore account were very much original accounts, and I did not want to affect them with any mods in any way, shape, or form, as you've probably heard me say a lot. I now have installed at least all of the semi mods. I'm going to take a look at some of the other mods. I have some game ideas or some other series ideas that I want to try. One of those is going to be adding all of the mods in that do things, not necessarily straight up, give me money, give me item. I don't want that stuff, but like all the things that even more quality of life and even more beneficial or adding features to the game that I've been hesitant to because the two main characters that I cared about are now done. So the rest of these, I can just spin up and do whatever with. So I don't exactly know what we're going to come back with. I'm going to take a little bit of time off. It's been, uh, I mean, yeah, you're just checking a game, but I'm now checking three characters on this and then two or three other idle games a few times a day. Uh, I kind of want a little bit of break for some things, but I do have maybe conquest mode, hardcore combat only. I'm not sure. I've got some ideas. We'll see what comes out, but that is going to wrap up this entire series for hardcore. Um, not sure if we'll be back with another hardcore series or we'll continue this one at some point. We'll just have to see where the game goes. Um, hardcore is fun. It's interesting. It's a little slower paced, but I would probably be more apt to try instead of just plain old hardcore, I would be doing hardcore combat only or something like that. Um, so I don't know. We'll see what happens with everything. So that will do it for this series. I hope you've enjoyed it and, uh, keep an eye out. If you're interested in the final boss fight, I'll get that video up at some point too. But that will do it for this one. We will catch you on the next one. Take care.